Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Davis and today I wanted to talk about the Chime app and whether or not it's worth it to use. So the first thing I wanted to say about Chime is it's not actually a bank. It's a financial software services company, but it's partnered with two different banks that are FDIC insured, which means your money is safe with Chime. So Chime keeps it really simple. Instead of having a bunch of different accounts to keep track of, there's only two that Chime has, and that is the Chime spending account, which is just a checking account, and then the Chime savings account. So the spending account is very similar to a regular checking account where you can receive direct deposits, you can transfer money to and from other banks, and of course you can make mobile deposits by taking a picture of a physical check. And as for the savings account, you'll receive 0.5% APY, which is pretty competitive compared to other traditional banks, but compared to other online banks like Ally Financial and SoFi, the APY isn't quite as high. Ally Bank pays a 1% APY, and I think SoFi pays around 1.5% APY, but I'll make a video on high yield savings accounts later, so let's get back to Chime. So Chime is known for some of its awesome features, and the first one I wanted to talk about is the Spot Me feature. So basically the Spot Me feature is you're free from any fees, any overdraft fees, up to $200, which means if you go into the negative in your account, up to $200, there's no overdraft fee, whereas with other banks, they'll be charged 50, 60, even $100 in fees if you go into the negative. But with the Spot Me feature, you don't have to worry about that up to $200. So the only way to enable this feature is if you're direct depositing $500 a month into Chime, and that's pretty doable as long as you have a full-time or part-time job. So another really cool feature about Chime is you can get early access to your direct deposits, which means you can literally get paid two days earlier than everyone else. But you guys are getting paid? And that of course is super helpful if you really need money for gas or for bills and just need that paycheck a couple days earlier. So another super helpful feature that Chime has is the Chime Credit Builder credit card. So what this is, is a credit card with no interest or no annual fees. And it really is there just to help you build your credit over time. So this is perfect for someone who's wanting to build their credit and get that good credit score for when you're wanting to take out a loan for some of the more important things like a car and a house. Another feature that Chime has is called the savings roundup, where when you make a purchase on your debit card, it rounds up to the nearest dollar and saves the rest. For example, if you spend $9.75 on your debit card, Chime will round to $10 and save 25 cents into your savings account. So now that I've gone over what Chime is and what it does and some of the features that it has, I now kind of want to get into the pros and cons of using Chime. So let's talk about some of the pros. So there's no really fees for anything. There's no fee to get started. There's no fee for overdraft. It's pretty simple to start saving and build your credit right now. There's no minimum deposit. You can literally just put in a dollar and start building your credit and saving today. It's really easy to sign up and qualify. So if you're someone that's wanting to get into saving money and building your credit, this is something that I definitely recommend for whoever's wanting to do that. So now let's talk about some of the cons. So the first thing that comes to mind is you can't actually deposit a check or cash in a physical location. There's no any brick and mortar stores for Chime, of course, because at the end of the day, it's an online banking app. So if you're someone that likes physical interaction, face-to-face -face conversations with employees, then this probably isn't for you. Another thing too is you can't invest or take out loans or put money into CDs or anything like that with Chime. Whereas with some of these other online banks like Ally and SoFi, you can start investing into stocks and ETFs if that's something that you want to look into understanding and learning more about. But like I said before, maybe you're not ready for that yet and that's totally fine. If you're just focused on saving money and building credit, Chime is perfect for that. And if you're not ready to invest in stocks and ETFs yet, yeah, that's totally fine. So overall, Chime is perfect for staying away from banking fees and really just keeping it simple when it comes to banking. I can't really think of any reason why not to get started with Chime today. So that is my full review and opinion on Chime. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you later. See ya.